What's up guys, I'm BTC. The Overwatch League Stage 2 has just started and with it, they finally got those Mercy nerfs that everyone else has been using. Does this mean that we're gonna see a lot more variety in the character picks? Probably not. Now you might be thinking, this feels a little old because we've had the Mercy changes on the live version of the game for a little while now, but that's not how the Overwatch League works. So the entire season is broken into four stages, and each stage lasts for about a month. And Blizzard uses the same patch for the entire duration of the stage. They don't want to change things in the middle of it because then that creates complications and problems with the tournament setting and all that sort of deal. So what they do is at the beginning of a new stage is when they apply all those changes. So everything that we had for Mercy that's been getting changed left and right, that just got applied to the Overwatch League yesterday. So just yesterday they started using all those new changes. So of course this is going to have a very big impact on whether or not the teams are using Mercy, but it had little impact on the rest of the game. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this was the pick rates at the very end of stage one. As you can see, Mercy had a 96.6% .6 pick rate. Following right behind was D.Va, Zenyatta, Winston, and Tracer. So those are the other four that we're going to keep an eye out for. D.Va, Zenyatta, Winston, and Tracer. And then it kind of drops off and you see Genji, Junkrat, Widow, Orisa. My prediction was after the change is applied, we're going to see Mercy with a less than 10% pick rate in the Overwatch League. Let's see if I was right. Here are the pick rates from the three matches that we had yesterday. Keep in mind, each match is four maps, so that's a total of 12 games. But you can very clearly see that Mercy has fallen quite a bit. So the first one, pick rate only 4.57%. That's for both teams combined, by the way. Next match was only 6.89%. And then the third one, a little bit better with a 38.84%, but even then, a very, very far cry from the 96% that she had during stage one. Now, here's the thing, though. Is this going to change basically what the games look like? Well, it's the first day, so it's not the end-all, be-all, but it still gives us a pretty good indication of what we can expect. And you'll notice what's the same at the top. You still have... Diva, Winston, Tracer, and Zenyatta. The only difference is that they swapped out Mercy and instead they put back in Lucio. So it has now gone from the Mercy dive that we had last stage and it has now transitioned back into the original version of dive which had Lucio there. So yeah, we see a little bit more usage of some of the other characters like Moira and Reinhardt, but for the most part it's still basically just dive, like that's all there is. And even if they're not running a purely dive build, like in one of their games, they're still overwhelmingly using the dive characters. And that's because the high mobility just cannot be matched in Overwatch. You look at other characters like Symmetra and Torbjorn and Bastion and people wonder like why they don't get used it's because they're so very stationary and uh, existing current version of Hanzo is the same way I also want to point out the significant drop off in the Widowmaker usage the only reason why she had such a high pick rate to begin with was because it was a really good counter to Mercy you could just take Mercy out at really far range and then you could not only remove their healer, but you could also remove their ability to res, which was incredibly powerful. Now that people aren't using Mercy anymore, there's no reason to continue using Widow, and instead they're using other stuff like Genji or whatever. So this all reminds me of what Jeff Kaplan said about Hero Number 27, about how it was going to be meta-changing. Really, and I've talked about this many times in the past, the thing that this game needs is anti-dive because right now, as you can very clearly see, the high mobility dive characters just absolutely dominate in this game. There just is no comparison to the power that those characters have compared to the rest. 
and what the game really needs, that meta-changing character that Jeff Kaplan was talking about, needs to be something that is anti-dive. So what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my Discord server. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. The links for that stuff are down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Also, special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping to make this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting the channel, check the links on screen and down below.